Hello everyone, got a new game to play here. This is a, uh, it's gonna be a short game. Just one I felt like sharing. Um, it's a game called Paper Plane, made by, uh, I think it's made by some students as a university project. Um, I wrote a review about it on my uh, website. And um, yeah, since I can't really think of what game to play now, I thought I'd play this one. Just as a little uh, breather between LPs, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, the purpose of this game is you play as a paper airplane, if that wasn't obvious already, and you're in this kind of landscape, it's very, very, um, void of colour, as you can see, obviously, but your task is to, um, well, I'm not going to do it at this point, but your task is to activate these objects in the area by flying through or past them or around them to bring colour to the area. Um, Playing with the Xbox 360 controller, it's the only input method. You've got to use the shoulder buttons to control the wings, as you can hopefully see I'm doing here. Um, and as I said, you've got to fly through objects to activate them, like so. As you can see, when I turn around now, the swing is now coloured, and the um, the colour in the landscape has gone further. There, there is a there is a lot less white than there was before. So um, yeah, I'm just going to give this game a play and, and talk while I'm doing it, since that is how you LP games. You play them and you talk. So hopefully this will be a, a, an enjoyable LP. It's a, it's a very, very, um, very nice game. Very, very pretty game. The graphics are well, they're very well done for a university project. But even, even when you consider that they're not, the, you know, they're not the greatest graphics, they're still very, very stylistic, very well done. And um, the controls of the plane is excellent. As I said, you just control using the shoulder buttons. If you kind of hold them half cock like this, you can fly for as long as you want. The only problem is you can't regain your height. Um, I think you can with by boosting, but um, I failed there. But it doesn't really provide you that much height. It's kind of, um, you kind of are meant to go for one thing at once. So I can turn around and, and oh, I missed it. I was attempting to go through the, um, the hoop, which I think I could actually get. Yeah, there we are. So that's another piece activated. Um, I'll show you the like the main um, well the main goal is what I'm doing right now but I'll show you the actual aim of the game what what you actually get to see by doing this in a second the next time I die or well, not die but uh, next time I fall see we activate a house there a grey house but uh, we shall bring some colour to that pretty little house soon enough um, yeah the boost really doesn't offer you much, that much height oh yeah you can boost yourself though by using the thing that's what the little there uh, joystick thing on the right was suggesting. So, oh yeah, I was meant to show you. I'll show you next time, though. I'm just going to, um... Oh, I can go back to the house by pressing back, but I won't bother doing that. So you'll see, um... The controls, they are a bit hard since it's a flying game, but... You know, it's it's not really that hard. I'm, make, I'm making it look easy, but... You know, I'm not the type of person that would be good at this type of, um... 3D game. I mean, I was, I was awful at, like, Star Fox and... and Rogue Squadron and all those 3D games I've actually tried to play, but yeah, I'm making it look easy, so it is easy, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, now I'll show you what the purpose of this game is. We have these picture books, and you can see these kind of give you hints to what you're supposed to activate. What you're really supposed to activate is just everything, but um, yeah, this gives you hints as to what you're what you're aiming for. Um, once you activate these things, um, you'll see a little, um, well, you'll see something when you activate. I won't ruin the surprise at all. I'll just try and do it. So, in this first scenario, we're supposed to activate the garage, I suppose. This is a French game, that's why the um, that's why there's French words in the picture. The garage, a tree, a swing, and something else. Well, we'll see. And a, a, a truck, a ramp, a motorbike, and a pirate boy, I suppose that is. So that's what we're aiming for. Um, actually, give me one second. Okay, yeah, um... I'm just playing. I was was just thinking I could do this in one go, just make it one big video and play the whole game in one go. But I may split it up. I haven't decided yet. I'll see. Um, you know, I'll play for another like ten minutes, so I get a fifteen-minute video and see how far ahead I am. Um, I might just split it up into parts. Although this isn't really the type of game you'd expect to see split up like that. Um, but anyway, we can move on. We can activate a cows, which is kind of close to something we saw in the book. Um, but yeah, let's let's go for that. Next. Um, the music is a bit repetitive, but I think it really works. I think um, 
Oh yeah, and there's my... Oh, I kind of ruined it. But yeah, the, the joystick, you see the little hint there, which I totally missed the first time around. The joystick, um, when you press it up after passing through something, you do get a boost, so um, maybe that can be used to, to gain some height again. And I thought I could gain something there by spinning around the tree, but I guess not. My control's pretty loud. It's making squeaky noises when I'm um, when I'm pressing the the shoulder pet shoulder shoulder buttons. But yeah, I hope I hope people can't hear this, and if you can, well, uh, you know, squeak squeak to you. So we'll fly through. Oh, wow! I knew this would happen. I knew my failure would ruin this would um, dampen this LP slightly. But um, as I said, the controls are, are really good, so. It's not really too much of a worry. I know I can. Uh, I know I'll be able to play through this game well enough. Um, I'm not sure if I activate that or not. I'll come back to it later just to check. So I can fly through these cows, which is what I'll attempt now. Except I won't. I just did a little test just to see if fraps would record well, and I did that bit little bit easily. So um, I'll do this now anyway. Did I activate that? Yeah, now it's activated. I don't mean to be crashing all the time, I just want to make sure that um, I actually did them. So, now we will head for... well, I'll head for the cows again. I'm not sure what I'll go for afterwards, but maybe activating the cows will activate something else. Um, I thought that activating that little farm and scarecrow over there would activate something else, but I guess I kind of need two things for that. Um, but yeah, as I said, the graphics are... they're not like spectacular but they're really well done especially considering it's a student game and I'm not just using that as a kind of um, cop out on behalf of them but um, they really are well done it's a really pretty game as you can see now it's not you know it's it's pretty drab but that's um, that's intentional you'll see later on when more color comes to land and my voice broke there even though I'm an old man but um, as you'll see later on when more color comes to the land um, you'll see how pretty this game can become um, so let's attempt this again. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a little boost that's throwing me off. Um, is there anything else I can attempt, though? I think I can go for... well, can I fly through this? No, I wouldn't be able to do that anyway, since um, it's only really the things that shows the little air pattern around themselves. Um, I can go for this um, this bit here, though, I'm sure of it. And you can see when I get closer, the, the air comes around it. I actually had too much speed to do that, which is weird. The, um, the pond over there is actually activated, but we, we don't have to go that far in the game. Oh, come on. I think feasibly you could... you could. Um, I'm not saying this with too much certainty, but feasibly you could, you could activate pretty much everything in one run of this game, but um, as I said, that's, that's, I'm not too certain of that. You'll probably, you'll probably um, run into problems um, after losing all your height and stuff, so maybe that's not uh, that's not actually possible. Maybe I'm talking out my ass here. But um, how long have I been playing? I'm playing about seven minutes now, so I probably will just let this um, run into a few videos. It won't be too long, and I will I will aim to um, upload them like daily. So um, yeah, if it comes to that, if it comes to me um, splitting this video up, I will just. Uh, I won't leave it too long in between videos. Um, this isn't really the type of game where that lends itself to, um, you know, a long-running LP. And I know I activate those even though the wind's still spiraling around them, but I think that's just something that happens. I'm gonna head for this um, bale just in case, but no, I can see by now it's not it's not something that needs to be activated. One problem with this game is um, the traveling is pretty slow, but it's kind of um, it's going to be inherent since you are a paper airplane after all. They're not known for their mad, crazy speed, really. But um, I can see something over there in the distance that I can activate. Um, I've, you know, kind of given up with the cows for now. I'll go back to them in a bit. But um, I can run through this table, hopefully activate it. Although I don't think I did since I didn't get the little chime or anything. Nope, not not that time. Yeah, one problem with this is um, the repeat journeys. I think I mentioned this in my little review that I did. I'll be sure to link that review since I still am, uh, <laughs> I still am spamming my own videos with uh, links to my channel. And there, I've activated now since we saw the little crunchy, uh, the crunchy theme. 
But um, yeah, I did write a review of this game, kind of give my opinions on it first. Um, really, really enjoyed it, give it five stars, and for that reason I am LPing it now. Um, I'm going to fly over here and, and see if there's anything closer. I think I can easily activate the house. I had a lot of time, trouble the first time, but now I actually know how it's meant to be done. Um, that said though, I'm not going to do it first time, obviously. Um, yeah, I think, oh, yeah. So I think you're just meant to maintain your flight so that you have the little strings around you for long enough, and I didn't do it there. But yeah, I think that's all that's really meant, needs to be done. But um, while we're here, I will fly through this if I... No, I can't. <laughs> and I wasn't getting the wind thing in there anyway, so maybe I can't. The little wind blowing thing. Um, now I will head for the cows again, I suppose. Head for the cows, is that a saying? I'm not too sure. But um, I will do that anyway. I'll fly through these because it's fun, except I don't. My lack of control has uh, absconded with that, uh, that goal. I didn't mean to rhyme. There we are, activate the cows. This game does kind of lend itself to me shutting up, so maybe that's something I would do. I don't need to be yapping all the time in this in this type of game. It's, it's an enjoy the scenery and enjoy the ride, quite literally, type of game. So maybe I will cut, try and talk less so uh, <laughs> you guys can actually see the game, experience it. See, as I said, the music... Yeah, this is me talking again. The music is... Um, that hammock is swinging on nothing. Music is, is repetitive, but... I mean, it's it's repeating. It's, it's not repetitive, that's what I'm trying to say. It's repeating, but it's not too repetitive, which is good. Um, kind of surprising as well. So I did activate something new there. I thought I'd already activate that scarecrow, but I guess not. Um, I definitely activated that. I'm sure of that. Since it's coloured. There's just some trees that's kind of meant to be resting on that, that don't exist yet. So, now I will attempt to spiral around the scarecrow, except I didn't do it for long enough. There we are, that's done. You kind of do need to, the, the, the spinning around, the flying through things are kind of easy, you just need to get your control, um, I mean you just need to get your line of sight, get your, um, you know, get into the zone and just kind of maintain control until you have activated it. It's the spinning around ones that are kind of hard, since you really have to, um, you really have to keep the control, um, what am I trying to say? You have to maintain your control, but you also have to kind of, um, yeah, kind of have to change it a bit if you if you notice yourself not spinning around the car well enough. I mean, spinning around whatever you're aiming for. I kind of give away what I'm aiming for next. I'm aiming for the car. So I will try and go through the window of the car. Nicely done. We have our little telltale crunch there that, that revealed that I did. Uh, I did do it. So now I guess I oh there's there's trees. I guess I will activate the trees. See see yeah it's it's kind of the angle you need to come at it as well. I was a very strong angle there and I had the the right um, the right um, shoulder button down all the way. So it's kind of the angle you need to come at it as well. Um, but yeah I did that now that time. And yeah, pressing up does give you a little boost, so it kind of gives you your um, your next attempt. So physically, I physically, feasibly, I suppose you could, um, I suppose you could do it all in one run. That's not something I will be doing, obviously, since I have failed to do it already. But um, I don't think I'd bother to attempt it anyway. Um, it's not really a you know a big challenge type of game anyway. So, oh, and that's that's a problem too. Something I haven't I haven't mentioned yet. When you are doing these spin around objects um, type ones, um, you know, the camera does kind of run away from you and it's kind of hard to judge where you actually are in, um, in, in the 3D plane, I suppose I can say. So, um, that is kind of a problem as well. But, um, 
Yeah, all the criticisms I have aside, they're not they're not real criticisms. I hope that's um you know, they're not real down points, they're just kind of unfortunate uh things that have that have caused that have um arise through the uh the design of the game. Yeah, all these things aside, this, this game is really, really an accomplishment for the people who made it. Once again, it was made by just um, a group of students, and um, it's a really pretty game, really, uh, really cute game, I suppose I could say. Not cute, but you know what I'm saying. Um, just a nice game, a lovely game. This belongs in Stephen Fry's room, lovely. Is that what it's called? Yeah, room lovely. I didn't. I didn't get that wrong. So I can see a little glimmer there, which suggests that I'm supposed to fly under these bales. But oh, and there's a person in the distance there, which I suppose. Yeah, that's that's kind of um, something that we do want to check out. So I fly through these bales. I got an achievement. I don't remember those. But um. Already we can see, I have been playing for a while actually, but already we can see that the um, the landscape has come alive a lot. I think I will actually sp um, cut it here and let this run into a few videos, so um, hopefully that was enjoyable. Hopefully this is a good choice for a game, hopefully I haven't made a big mistake, but I seriously doubt that since it's a really, really nice game. Um, one that I really want to share with people, so yeah, I will cut this one off here and... Um, I don't expect this one to last too much longer, it'll probably be done in a few more parts, but um, yeah, I hope, hope everyone's enjoying it. Um, leave a comment, tell me what you think, uh, see you guys later, bye!